everyone, it's Holly and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what a week in my life looks like in April of 2021. So I've got some coffee here with me. It's Monday morning, it is 10.15 and I was aiming to start listening and working on my American literature lecture at 10.15. So I'm right on time, right on track. I just took a shower this morning and had some breakfast, had some leftover pancakes, which were quite good. So I just made myself some coffee in this little mug. I don't drink coffee every day, but I like the taste of coffee and it does help me wake up in the morning. So it's the first day back at school after our spring break. So I'm going to get into my lecture now and uh, yeah. Basically, I've got my document all set up. I just have to click on this, listen to it. I'm probably gonna put in some of the slideshow information first. Um, but yeah, it's pre-recorded, so I just have to listen to it. So, it's one o'clock and I just finished this super long document. So yeah, today we were talking about Daisy Miller and naturalism and realism in America, in American literary movements, and it was very, very interesting. But now I have this very, very long document uh, from my lecture course. It is exactly one o'clock, so I'm gonna go make my lunch, and then I am going to tutor for an hour and a half, and then I am going to babysit. to buy some uh, groceries and then I am going to make some chili with a recipe that my friend just sent me so wish me luck So I am back home now. I walked home as you saw in the last little montage there. I often walk home after babysitting just because it's nice to walk and get some fresh air. So yeah, I went and bought some groceries on the way home because my friend sent me a chili recipe. And so tonight I'm going to try to make chili. I know I already had soup for lunch, but to me, I guess soup and chili are slightly different things. So yeah we're gonna we're gonna say that it's fine i'm in a soup mood so i'm gonna have chili for dinner so many cool things that's what a shopping haul sometimes look like for me sometimes i buy more sometimes less this was just on the way back from babysitting I had things that i needed like right now in my fridge this is what i have leftover soup you know some hummus but like my vegetables were pretty much gone so i was in need of a shop So just over here is the chili now in my bowl. And I made some guacamole, I have some salsa, some cilantro, some chips and some gruyere. And it's all gonna go here on the chili. 
So here is the final chili. Oh my gosh, it is so good. I just tried it and it is delicious. It's gonna become a new staple around here. Hey everyone, so it is the next day. It is Tuesday morning, so I also have some coffee and I am about to read from Hyperion, I think that's how you pronounce it, by John Keats, which is a very long, very, very long poem. I read eight pages of it yesterday and I have like 11 pages to go. It is here in this huge book. This is all romantic writing. It's this book here. Basically, I've been color coding the text that we've been reading, so I do a color for the sticky note, which marks the beginning of the text, and then I have uh, a little bit of highlighter on each corner just to show that I am reading these texts, so at the end with the exam I can go back to them. So yeah, I have book two to read and book three, which will take me probably 45 minutes or so, so that is my goal right now. So it's currently 9.30 and I'm going to read this until hopefully about 10.15. I'm going to read it out loud uh, because that will help me to absorb the information and since it's poetry it's always better to read it out loud so you can get a sense of how it sounds. Uh, my voice sounds so weird because it's the morning right now but yeah so that's my plan for the moment and then after that I have an essay outline to get done for my American literature class so that's my goal for today and then uh, later on I'm going to tutor for an hour and I'm also going to babysit again so yeah in the evening I'm also going to hopefully do some readings last night I was pretty unproductive I mostly made this chili and then I relaxed and just watched YouTube videos and cut my nails and you know just things that kind of had to get done like that but nothing like super productive even though I wanted to get some schoolwork done so yes today's going to be a good day. I can feel it. Okay, so I just finished reading ugh, not this entire book, but the 11 pages I had to finish for Hyperion for uh, John Keats's poem and it was pretty good but I did not end up reading all of it aloud I just read it in my head because it was getting really long and I couldn't read it out loud anymore but anyway I finished that now I have to work more on my American literature I have to answer like some questions in preparation for my essay and have to write my essay plan and things like that so I'm gonna work on that now so let's go these things. There's one of these at Canada's Wonderland and it is literally the best thing ever. I love it. Oh my god. So I don't doubt that someday these types of posters will seem like such a distant part of the past but right now this is the normal. Okay this to me looks awful. This looks awful. Here's uh, Les Consignes. 
qu'il faut suivre. But you know, just the thought of like this going up and around, that to me is awful. That is so not fun. Yeah, so right now I'm in uh, Plain Palais and there are rides behind me. So yeah, it's such a weird feeling just like walking through Plain Palais when there's all these rides and they're not open right now. They're, they're open sometimes, which I find kind of weird to be honest that they actually put this in place because of COVID and everything. But um, yeah, you know, people have to wear masks and use disinfectant and stuff. But yeah, it's just so weird. Like it's so empty right now. There's, there's like no one here. Kind of, kind of weird to like walk around. just so I could buy this. Yes. And my toothpaste was on sale. So that's awesome. Yeah. Hello everyone. So I just had some dinner. Obviously I'm not gonna be filming all of my meals this week. Cause like for today, for example, I literally ate the same thing as yesterday. So I had lentil soup for lunch and chili for dinner. And it's gonna be like that for a bunch of days. And that is just the best uh, student life you can be living. These lint dark chocolate eggs are literally the best thing ever. So I have two of them currently and I'm going to eat them while I do my editing of my thing that I have to hand in for American literature. So basically we had to choose one of the texts from our reader and we had to write answers to these questions with this model and it took me about six pages of writing so I'm just going to read over them out loud. This is basically what I do anytime I have to hand in anything whether it be an essay or anything, I like sit on my bed or at my desk and I just read it over out loud as like a final way of checking over that it sounds good. So I'm going to read it over and then I'm going to send it to my teacher for feedback because we're able to get feedback on this before we write the final essay, which is like the secondary component of our attestation that we're doing. So I wrote mine on a really interesting poem called Pocahontas to her English husband, John Rolfe. It's a poem written in 1978 and the speaker is a fictionalized version of the historical person Pocahontas, who I'm sure many of you have heard of from the Walt Disney film Pocahontas. However, obviously the film was very fictionalized and not super realistic in many senses. So basically this poem is kind of contradicting the typical narrative of colonization that you hear. And it, it's a really interesting poem. So I would suggest giving it a read. If you have some time, I will link it in the description box below in case you're interested in reading this poem that I have been spending lots of time with and that I'm going to be spending even more time with as I write my final essay. But anyway, I am going to read this over now. And um, yeah, I'm gonna eat these chocolate eggs too. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I just finally sent my answers to those questions to my American Literary Counter Voices seminar teacher for some feedback. So I'm very, very happy that I finally got that done and have got it sent off so I can get some feedback and then start writing the essay. Very exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go clean the bathroom now because it is my turn <laughs> and I should have done it on the weekend, but I didn't. I'm gonna clean the bathroom and listen to some music and then I'm going to just like go to bed I think so I'll see you in the morning oh yeah I've got to get up at 7 oh maybe a bit later I have class at 8 15 so 
yeah, I'll get up maybe 7.15 or 7.25. <laughs> we'll see. So yeah, I'm gonna just do those things and try to go to bed by 10.30 or 11, something like that. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so good morning. I'm here at my desk. It is 8.13 and I am about to join my romantic writing lecture course. So it is on Zoom and I'm gonna be using Zoom. Obviously, uh, it's 8.14 now, so I'm gonna go join this meet, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Okay, it is currently 10.11, so I'm gonna join my Zoom meet for Sainteté Politique, a seminar about medieval saints, in about two minutes. I'm just working on my German homework right here, uh, because I have my class tomorrow. So yeah, ich esse einen Apfel, ich kaufe ein Brötchen. I'm, I'm working on the accusative right now. Der Löffel. Der Löffel. Spoon. Der Löffel. Das Glas. Das Glas. The Glass. <laughs> gonna, gonna join my meat now. Let's do this. Boop, boop. Okay. Put this over here. Got my article. Very exciting stuff. I should grab a highlighter just in case. I don't know if this is you guys, but this is always me, like right before the Zoom meet starts. I'm like running to the bathroom, running back here, doing something. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna join my meet now. Okay, so I just cleaned the kitchen and the bathroom and vacuumed and mopped the apartment because it was my turn this week and I didn't do it on the weekend when I should have done it. And now I need to put everything on my bed, vacuum and mop my floor, and uh, then I need to get some readings done for class. So yeah, let's go. So our kitchen is literally sparkling and now I just have this left to clean which is literally the worst task because it uh, smelled disgusting from the compost so okay we have reached the final stretch I just took out the garbage cleaned the compost bin you know the kitchen is clean the hallway is clean the bathroom is clean my room is almost clean the floor is dry so now I'm just gonna put everything back and then I have a couple hours to read three articles for my class tomorrow Probably a good 60 pages of reading there, maybe more. So this is gonna be fun. Uh, let's go. Okay, my room is now totally clean. Very, very exciting. So now I'm going to read three articles for my History of Internationalism class in history, which I have tomorrow morning. One is called La Ligue Anti-Imperialiste anti in Espace Transnational Restaurant, 1927 à 1937. We have Présence Africaine avant Présence Africaine, La subjectivi Subjectivation Politique Noire en France dans l'Entre-Deux-Guerres. And finally, there's one in English, which is called why we appear the brief revival of the anti-imperialist review okay every time that i read an article i have to set up a color scheme before i start and i pretty much always do the same color scheme in fact i'm thinking about making a video about how i do my university reading so if you are interested in that please leave a comment below so basically i have a bunch of colors and then i make a little color scheme on the first page and then as I am reading, I highlight things in those colors that correspond to the things in my color scheme. So for example, green for me is always names or uh, it, depends on, it depends on what I'm reading. Sometimes I change it a little bit. Uh, what's my next color? Orange. Orange is always date. Um, I have a slightly different color scheme that I use for history versus for my English literature readings. 
Um, so I'm going to use pink for um, just like important concepts. And then I am going to use blue for um, examples or events or things like that. Uh, so kind of like examples of historical concepts that get used in the article. So that is the color scheme I'm going to use here. I adapt it every single time I read something. So like for example, sometimes I'll have one for literary devices if I'm reading something for English. Uh, but I pretty much always do green as names and uh, orange as dates. So basically then I end up with something looking a little bit like this. And then afterwards I highlight in those colors and I use a pen to write in the margins. I write like key concepts that I find in the text or I like try to summarize each paragraph in like a couple words just so I can easily skim through the article and important points later on. Okay, ready to start. I'm gonna have some of my favorite gum here from Canada. Yum! So this is just one example of what a page could look like after doing some highlighting and writing some things on the side. Just, uh, yeah, as an example of what I'm doing right now. Here with my friend Matilde. Hi. <laughs> and uh, we've got some shiso burger food to try, hamburgers, and well, a veggie burger, yes, <laughs> and fries. And so this is exciting. We will show you how it looks and give you our honest review. <laughs> so hopefully it's not too cold yet, but here is all our food. Yay! And then Matilde, right here with the beautiful sun and uh, the lake, very nice. Okay, we are ready to get your reaction to Shiso Burger. Which one did you get? Cheeseburger. Classic. Ooh, yes. And how is it? Is it extraordinary? <gasps> five out of five stars. Okay, now I'm gonna open mine. <laughs> but the fries are very good. They're nice and and crispy. Yes, beautiful. How does it look? The sauce has exploded. That's okay. Oh, no, <laughs> I am brave. It looks cool. So it's like a portobello mushroom burger. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! The paper. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Get it! Yes! Nice! Save the day! Great, I saved it! So how is it? It's very good. Nice. I can really taste... I think there's blue cheese on it. It's very strong, but it's, it's nice. Cool! The birds are coming. <laughs> they want the fries. <laughs> Goodbye! They're gonna come back, yeah. Okay, we're gonna walk. Yay! <laughs> the mountains look so nice with the clouds behind them.
professional vlogger here. Yep. There we go. Cafe class is there. Is Cafe Shop not going to happen? Okay, so as you can see, I am back in my residence. I went out with Mathilde tonight and we went to Shiso Burger and got some burgers and fries and then we ate by the lake. And then we walked back through the old town and through Plum Palais and right now they have a bunch of rides set up in Plum Palais. So we just like walked through and looked at them and like danced to the music and it was super fun and just like nice to like be out in an environment that has like, you know, sounds and like, lights and yeah it was just fun so i have six pages left of this article now so it's 10 p.m i'm going to just like sit here read the last six pages because tomorrow at 10 i have my class so yeah then i can just wake up tomorrow and go to class and uh yeah so i'm just gonna kind of like finish this now and then go to bed and in case you're wondering each page is kind of similar i just follow that same style that i was talking about earlier so I just kind of write this summary in the margins as I go and then uh, highlight uh, in a color-coded style in order to kind of just understand better what I'm reading. So here I have my laundry and basically I am going to go down, put it in the laundry. I am currently listening to this book. It is pretty cheesy. <laughs> in fact, it is very cheesy, but it's uh, super entertaining. And it's an LGBTQ plus story which I love listening to and reading because I didn't read a lot of that when I was younger. So yeah, I just had my class, uh, a seminar called Histoire de l'Internationalisme, which is a seminar, of course, about the history of internationalism. So yeah, I listened to a couple presentations about the articles that we read and we talked about um, anti-imperialism in the interwar period between World War One and World War Two, And it was super interesting because it's a topic that I don't really know that much about. to end up actually doing two loads of laundry because I had so much clothes to wash. I hadn't done it in a little while. Um, but anyway, I uh, just hung up all my laundry. It's now 1.53, so it's been a little while, but um, I'm gonna do my German homework now. 
because uh, I have my German class tonight, and uh, then I'm going to start reading this article that I have to do a presentation on boop, next Thursday, so I have a week to to make this presentation for this. So anyway, uh, first let's do the, the German homework. So let's play this. Übung 4C. Hallo, Daniela. Here is Sabine. Hallo, Sabine. Du, wir machen am Wochenende einen Brunch. Kommst du? Am Wochenende. So I just had to order the sentences that the, they were saying in the audio. So now I like read it off. And then I have my notebook where I write down words that I learn, which I'm going to have to go get. I have been working on learning German, as you can tell. And I am speaking right now with a horrible British accent. So I was thinking of making a video about my German learning process. So let me know if you're interested in seeing a video about that. Um, I'm gonna go back to my regular accent now because that's way too hard to do. <laughs> so some of the things that I'm doing to learn German, I'll just kind of give you a brief overview right now, is I'm one taking a class with the Université Populaire in Geneva, which is basically just a group class once a week for an hour and a half in the evening. And we work on like German pronunciation, learning how to introduce ourselves, how to like, you know, order things in a restaurant, all that type of stuff. Before that German class, I use this book here, um, Deutsch in Alltag und Beruf. So it's like everyday German uh, for, in, like in your job and stuff like that. Um, so this is like level A1. So it's really the basics, um, but it's really helpful like to help me improve my pronunciation and stuff. Then I also bought this book, which I have been like looking through and learning bits of on my own. I still haven't gotten really into this book, but I really, really like it. It's the Collins Complete German Grammar, Verbs and Vocabulary. So the first section is all about like grammatical concepts. The second section has like verb tables for how to conjugate uh, verbs in various tenses. And the last section has vocabulary categorized uh, by theme or topic, I guess. Uh, then I have a couple other things that I've been doing. So I've been reading this book, which is a book for like really beginners uh, called Halt an Fremder, like uh, Stop Stranger. And it's really like a book uh, for beginners. So it really is like super basic. Um, but what I've been doing is like uh, annotating words I don't know and uh, reading it uh, out loud. An diesem Sonntagmorgen hat Philip zu nicht Lust. Er ist nicht krank. Er ist auch nicht müde. Er will einfach nur alleine sein. So it's like, uh, it's like relatively simple, uh, but I still like learn a lot because my German is not that good yet. Uh, then I have a couple other books. So I have this one where I've written down nouns uh, in three categories in uh, Der Gidas, so the masculine, uh, feminine, and uh, neutral. Then I have one notebook where I write down uh, like grammatical concepts like verbs. So I have like a thing about the present tense. And then later in the book, I've been actually just writing down, oops, all the verbs that I learned. I also have a document online where I've been writing down, like I have like six pages of verbs that I've been learning and I want to print them off and like hang them up in my room or something like that. And then I also have this notebook here, which is kind of the one that's most useful for me. And this is where I just write down any like German concepts. And so I have like, uh, salutations and farewell, uh, numbers, questions of place, introducing yourself. And so I really think I should go through this stuff more. Um, but yeah, then at the uh, part way through this book, I've been writing down new words and pretty much like, yes, I have a book for nouns and verbs, but this is where I write down just every new word that I learn. Um, this is what I did when I was learning French. When I was in France for my exchange, I had a notebook where I wrote down all the words that I learned. And I think that is the most helpful process to like look a word up, see its translation, write it down on paper. So yeah, even though like I do have a couple other notebooks, really the main one is this one. So like some of the more recent words that I've been learning are like die Zukunft means the future. Uh, and I started doing once a week German tutoring with the website italki. So I found a German tutor and I'm doing like once a week for an hour with uh, an awesome German tutor. So I just started that last week though. So I can't really give you total like review of it yet, but on Saturday I'm gonna have a class so I can let you know how it goes. I guess I might as well do a little introduction of myself in German just as like a way of getting my German out there and like, uh, I don't know, showing you what I can do currently. So I'm gonna do that now. And uh, if you speak German, let me know in the comments below uh, how it is. So, um, hello, ich heiße Holly und ich komme aus Kanada. Ich wohne in Genf 
und ich bin eine Studentin an der Uni Genf. Ich studiere englische Literatur und Geschichte. I think that's history. Ich spreche Englisch, Französisch und ich lerne Deutsch. Ich, ich möchte Deutsch lernen, uh, weil uh, eine ich eine Freundin uh, in Deutschland habe. Ich möchte Deutsch, uh, Deutschland besuchen und uh, es ist uh, wichtig uh, in der Schweiz uh, zu Deutsch sprechen. Ich möchte äh, Zürich, äh, Interlaken, Lauterbrunnen äh, besuchen. Ich hoffe, dass ihr könnt äh, mir verstehen. <lacht> ich, ich denke, ich verstehe äh, mehr, <lacht> äh, dann ich kann sagen in Deutsch. Ich weiß, mein Deutsch ist nicht perfekt. Aber ich möchte mein Deutsch benutzen. In Kanada habe ich zwei Schwestern und mein Vater, Vater und meine Mutter. Meine Familie wohnt in Kanada, aber ich in der Schweiz wohne. Ich liebe der Schweiz, ich liebe Französisch, ich liebe reisen, ich liebe lesen, ich liebe äh, Deutsch lernen und ja, ich freue mich können äh, Diskussionen in Deutsch haben äh, mit den Personen äh, in, in, äh, in der Zukunft. So, <lacht> thank you, uh, that is my German. And um, yeah, I'm gonna listen to my stuff and work on my homework now, so uh, yeah. I'm going to set a timer now for an hour and a half on my phone. Often I do this while I'm studying, so I put a timer on my phone and then I put my phone on my bed so that I can't access it and then I come over here to my desk to do my work and I can't go on my phone. So I'm going to read this article right now. It's called Fascist Internationalism by Madeleine Herron and uh, it's about fascist internationalism in the 1930s mainly, I think. Um, haven't read it yet, but I have to do a presentation for 15 minutes on it next week in my seminar. So. Uh, I've got to read it now and then start uh, preparing the presentation probably tomorrow or on the weekend. But today, as long as I like get through it, that is the goal. Okay, so I just got back from La Farce, which is a place that does uh, food packages to help students during the pandemic. So just got all this wonderful food here. Uh, I picked up the package for myself and for my roommate. So that's why I had two bags in the videos that I just showed you. So I'm gonna eat some of this like pre-made meal. And then I have my German class in about 20 minutes. So yeah. Hallo Leute, ich bin hier. Ich hatte mein Deutschkurs. Es war super. Unsere Lehrerin ist sehr, äh, sehr super. <lacht> äh, unser Kurs ist perfekt. Ähm, wir lernen die Wörter für die Kleidung und äh, Essen. Und wir, äh, wir lernen die Verben nehmen und mögen. Und wir benutzen alles äh, zusammen. 
ich bin sehr, sehr froh. Wir benutzen dieses Buch äh, und ja, ich schreibe die Wörter, äh, da, das äh, ich lerne und jetzt schreibe ich die Wörter um in dieses Heft. In diesem Heft? Ich weiß nicht. Ich werde äh, die Wörter schreiben in diesem Buch und das ist, äh, ja, das ist äh, super. <lacht> my German class was so fun. Honestly, my teacher is so nice and the whole class is just a really nice group of people who are all really motivated to work on German and yeah, it's just such a good time. Every week we have an hour and a half where we just like learn stuff, learn words, we talk, we have like little breakout rooms where we get to have a little conversation and we learn some new vocabulary and then we practice the stuff we learned last week and the new stuff that we're learning. So yeah, honestly, it's just a great time and I'm so happy that I decided to take this course because really at the beginning I was kind of like hesitating. I was like, do I have time to learn a language while I'm also in university? And like, it literally brings me so much joy. Like learning a new language and like working on my German is one of the best parts of my week. So yeah, so I'm gonna write down these words in my notebook and then I am going to finish reading the last six pages of that article. And then I am going to probably FaceTime my family and then go to bed. Just wrote down all the new words that I learned in my class today. Yay! Okay, so I just finished my American Literary Counter Voices seminar. It was super, super interesting. We were talking about the short story, The Yellow Wallpaper. Basically, today I was just taking the minutes for the class, which we each have to take turns doing throughout the course, so that people that are, you know, sick or whatever can still have access to what we've done. So yeah, I gotta send those in soon, but I love this class. It's like probably one of my favorite classes of the week. I love it so much. I just love American literature. It's so interesting. So anyway, I am going to uh, go eat lunch now. Then I think I'm going to listen to my Varieties of English lecture. Then I'm gonna edit and hand in the minutes for the seminar and then I'm going to go babysit. So I've got a, you know, jam-packed day of fun stuff. <laughs> um, but it is, uh, it's gonna be great. So yeah. Ready to start listening to my recorded Varieties English lecture. Very, very exciting. walking home from babysitting again and it went really well today we played at the park and uh, we decided that on Monday we're gonna go have a picnic together so I'm quite excited for that and uh, yeah so that's where I am at now now just walking home and uh, I'm gonna go home and eat dinner and it's the weekend now so that's very exciting If you're ever in Geneva, actually, going down there is actually really, really nice to stand by the water over there. I'm gonna go open the window a little bit. There we go. 
So yeah, just back from my babysitting, I went to Miko on the way back. Typically, I don't go to the grocery store every time I come back from babysitting. In fact, this week is a bit of an anomaly in that sense, but I did uh, because I decided to go for a picnic uh, during my babysitting on Monday. And so I bought some like cool foods for the picnic, like kiri and some chocolate that the kid I babysit really likes just to make it kind of special. And while I was there, I found some tofu, which was on sale, some iced tea berry and rhubarb flavor, which was 50% off. So I was like, maybe we'll try it and see what it's like. And then I got some salad because I wanted some. And then I also got some cashews, some salty cashews because I'm kind of craving them right now. <laughs> so yeah, the, the iced tea drink was only 55 cents. I'm going to prepare my chili and maybe some salad and have some of this iced tea because it looks good. And uh, yeah. Here's my dinner, the warmed up chili, some baguette with some vegan butter, some salted cashews and some carrots. So the reason I still have my headphones in is because I'm still listening to this book and it is getting so good. Um, anyway, I'm going to try this and let you know what I think. Mmm. This is so good. It doesn't really taste like iced tea. But it is so good. I rarely buy any type of juice. And I am pleasantly surprised by this. This is so nice. I give it a 10 out of 10. So earlier, I didn't really mention this, but as I was coming in, in the mailbox was this, my Spiffy Socks uh, subscription. My 20th birthday was just over a month ago, so my family got me this like bamboo sock subscription service. So for I think six months, I'm gonna be receiving socks. So I thought I would record this and show you my reaction to my spiffy socks. Oh, I'm so excited. What are they gonna look like? Ooh. These are cool. Huh. These are kind of cute. I wanna put them on. I'm gonna go get some scissors. Okay, well, thank you for watching my fabulous Spiffy Socks haul. I am now going to watch the very last episode of Love, Victor on Disney+. Plus. <laughs> I'm so excited. So yeah, it's been coming out once a week for the past couple weeks, and I've just been loving it, so I would highly recommend it. It's a show basically about this guy, Victor, who is discovering his sexuality and his family has just moved from Texas to Atlanta to where Love, Simon, the movie took place. So if you like the movie, Love, Simon, you'll probably like Love, Victor as well, because basically it's like Love, Simon, uh, but there's much more f complex family life and, you know, moving and it's not like a super easy process. And yeah, it just, it just feels really realistic and I love all the characters and I love LGBTQ plus representation in media. It really does mean so much. So yeah, I've just been loving watching it and the music is on point. So yeah, I'm so excited. I'm gonna try these on my socks and then I'm gonna watch this. <laughs> I have to clean that up. I don't want to. As you saw, my movie watching did not go as planned. I went into the kitchen, I'd made this wonderful snack of a clementine, a cookie, some cashews, some chocolate, and then I dropped my small bottle of wine on the floor. <laughs> oh my god. I just started laughing, like why? <laughs> at 11 p.m. at night too, a bit before. So then I vacuumed and mopped, cleaned up broken glass. <sighs> well, at least it's over. 
But now I don't have any wine, so I'm just gonna drink some of this iced tea. Good thing I bought the iced tea, because now at least I have something to drink while I watch the very last episode of Love, Victor. I am so excited. I'll tell you guys about it tomorrow. I'm just gonna watch this, you know, uh, go right to bed after, because it's gonna be almost midnight. Unfortunately, I was not hoping to stay up that late, but what can you do? Okay, I am awake. It is Saturday morning at 8.59. I am about to give a class on Zoom. I give a couple classes on Saturday morning uh, on Zoom, so I'm gonna do that for the next three hours. And then after that, I'm gonna have some lunch. And then I actually have a tutoring class that I am going to go to as a student because I am taking German tutoring classes once a week. So yeah, I'm excited to, I'm very excited for that. It's all good. Even though last night I broke that wine glass or wine bottle rather uh it's all good <laughs> i just laughed it was just it was just funny it was just like sure you know <laughs> these socks are literally making me so happy <laughs> they're just so smooth and soft and i just feel like dancing around i love them so much i don't really know what's on them Comment below what you think this design is. I'm unclear whether it is like blue macaroni. My dad thinks it's the letter C. <laughs> Maybe it's a single colored rainbow. <laughs> I'm unsure. <laughs> Okay, so I just watched Damon Dominique's newest video about Paris, Texas, and it was so entertaining. Like, he is just such a great YouTuber. Like, I love how he has the ability to make even the most American countryside town seem super interesting. Like, it's he's just got such a great personality. Anyway, I am here about to start my German class. I'll show you what I've been working on. I've been working on my German verbs and my class starts in nine minutes. I'm very excited. I have a one hour class with my German tutor, so yeah. So this is the document that I'm currently making. I write down the verbs that I know and what they mean in English on the left side, and then the past participle on the right side. And so I'm doing it in a really big font because I want to print it off and then hang it on my wall and kind of like repeat them to myself to practice them. So did I just switch my shirt to look more presentable in my German class? Yes, I did. And yeah, ich bin hier, uh, ich bin, uh, oh, what's ready? I don't remember. <laughs> Für mein Deutschkurs und ja, ja, ich werde Deutsch sprechen. Okay, so I just had my German class and it was really awesome. My teacher is awesome and yeah, it was, it was great. So I wrote down a bunch of new words and learned some new stuff. So I, w I have some things I want to work on, but I feel like just like for my own mental health right now, I need to exercise. And uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is go for a run. Even though it's gonna take up my time, I think I just need to get out of the house. Like, you know that feeling where you just feel like closed in and you're just like, I need to get out. Like, I just feel right like that right now. Like I need to exercise. Need to wear my other glasses while I work out because I don't wanna break my new ones. So here we go, putting on my old glasses, which I can't see as well with, but that is okay. And uh, here we go. So I am in Lancy right now. I just took the tram here and uh, now I'm going to work out. So uh, yeah, right here I'm going to do about a five, maybe seven minute workout, like a warm up, I mean, and I'm going to just do like some squats and some uh, of that type of thing. And I have hair all over my face right now. And, uh, <laughs> and then I'm going to run for about 25 minutes, alternating between walking and running. So I'll probably show you some of the views because I've ran along this river quite a few times. So I know where the nice uh, views are. So I'll show you guys. It's starting to be really nice with flowers and sun. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy.
just love this. The sun. It's so pretty. And then walking down here is so nice. My run is going well. I think I've run for probably about six or seven minutes. Um, and then I've walked for probably four or five minutes. So yeah, I kind of go back and forth so that I can do it for longer because otherwise I get tired and I can't run for more than like 10 minutes at a time. So yeah, but I'm already feeling like so much lighter. Like it's amazing how much good getting exercise does for you. Like you can literally just feel it. Like I feel so much lighter already. Uh. back. I am very red. I am a tomato, so I'm going to go take a cold shower. I ran just over three kilometers on the, it shows that I timed on the Nike Run app. I feel a lot better now, a lot less stressed, a lot more light. Okay, so it is now eight o'clock in the evening. I have been just working for the past hour and a half on my presentation for History of Internationalism. And earlier, I actually got some mail. I got a package that I had ordered about a week ago. And so I opened it over FaceTime with my dad, so I didn't get to show you guys. But basically, I ordered this shirt and it's really, really nice. I think it's going to shrink in the wash because it's made of 100% cotton. I really, really like this company. This shirt is 100% organic cotton, ethically sourced and sustainable. So it's from Heiko Clothing and there's this really little cute card inside it as well. And yeah, so I just thought I'd show you this. It's really cool because I even wrote my name on the inside. I think that's so sweet. Hey Holly, first, thank you so much for supporting our small business. There's even this cute little thing where you can plant this seed paper and grow wildflowers and it's all came with recyclable packaging and I just love this shirt. I just love the message. I love the fabric. It feels so, so nice and I'm so excited to wear this. And uh, yeah, I expect it to shrink because it is 100% cotton. So I got the size medium. I just made myself a smoothie because I had gone on a run. So it had like strawberries and banana and rice milk and some chia seeds and peanut butter and all that good stuff. So it was very good. Guten Morgen, es ist Sonntag und ich bin hier in meinem Zimmer. Ich bin sehr froh mit meinem neuen uh, T-Shirt. Es ist super, es ist perfekt. Heute Morgen habe ich gefrühstückt und habe ich geduscht und jetzt werde ich arbeiten für die Uni. I'm gonna tutor <laughs> again. Um, the shirt is actually quite a bit big. Like if I pull it out, it looks like this. So you actually can't see, <laughs> but it's quite long. But yeah, I'm super happy with it. I think it looks great and uh, it's so comfortable and I'm just excited and happy to wear this. And those bells are going crazy this morning. So I am going to now just spend my day um, working on my presentation, doing a bit of my readings for this week. From 2 to 3.30, I'm going to tutor and uh, teach some English literature. So I'm going to prepare a little bit of the tutoring right now, and then I'm just going to work and then have lunch, then, then work some more, then tutor, then work some more. So really, it's not that interesting of a day. Yeah, that's about it. There's nothing exciting happening today, but that is fine. Um, this morning while I was eating breakfast, I was watching Love, Victor again, but in German this time. And es ist super, ich verstehe viel Sachen, viele Sachen, aber nicht alles. <laughs>
Okay everybody, it is the end of the vlog. It is just past 11, well, it's 11.15 right now. I'm very tired. I had actually a really, really nice day. I ended up talking to my aunt, my uncle, and my cousin for about an hour. Then I did a bit more work on my presentation and I actually got quite a good number of pages written. So I'm really, really happy about that. Then I talked to my cousin. Uh, for uh, a different cousin <laughs> for about two hours and then I facetimed my grandma and then I was texting with my sister <laughs> and so I talked with quite a good number of people back in Canada today and so that was really really nice and special so I'm really happy about all that. I am going to go to bed now. I might read a little bit before bed, but yeah, I just wanted to say goodbye to you guys, say thank you for watching this vlog, this weekly vlog in my life, living in Geneva, Switzerland, during the coronavirus pandemic, during my second year of university at the University of Geneva. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>